Hi, and welcome to the Lincoln Children's Zoo. My name is Katrina and I'm a zookeeper here. And today, for our keeper form, we have our North American River Otters. Thank you so much for joining us. Now this is Lily and this one's Richard. And you can kind of tell males and females apart because males are just a little bit bigger. Now it might be hard for you guys to see because you guys don't see them every day like I do, so I can tell them apart and you guys maybe can't. But you can also tell their personalities apart. So Lily is much more energetic and active, and Richard kind of is a little bit more lazy. So next time you come to the zoo, you can definitely tell them apart, which is pretty cool. Now, one of the reasons why they're so active, besides me being here, the suit kind of gives it away, is it is feeding time here at the Lincoln Children's Zoo. It's about 11 a.m., and these otters are hungry. So today, I have some trout and some mixed assorted veggies at the bottom. But these guys eat a lot of different kinds of fish. Now I'll talk about fish a little bit more, but I think I'm gonna feed these otters first. Are you guys ready? All right, let's go. All right, now I'm gonna keep talking, but the video is not gonna be on me if you guys don't mind. But you guys can see how awesome these guys are in the water. They have a lot of different adaptations that they use to get their prey. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is their whiskers. Now next time you come, you'll have to really notice on their face, they have really wide whiskers, actually bigger than their face. These whiskers are highly, highly sensitive and are used to kind of detect movement in the water. So if they were in a river, let's say, and they had found something that maybe they wanted to eat, they would detect them with their whiskers and they would go for it. Now, another super awesome thing about these whiskers is say they're in a muddy river or there's a lot of sediment that's up and they can't really see, that's where the whiskers really come into play. The whiskers are used even when the otters can't see. Next up, their eyes are awesome in the water. Now they can actually see underwater, which is really cool because they have these things called a nictitating membrane. Now basically, those are built-in goggles. So it's kind of like an invisible layer that slides down over those eyes and lets them see underwater. They don't really want any of the water getting in their eyes, so they just slip on their goggles and they dive under. Another cool thing, is their ears and their nostrils also close up so none of that water gets into their body which is super helpful besides that i know you guys know they have webbed feet that helps them propel them through the water another thing that helps propel them through the water is that tail that tail is actually called a rudder and it really makes them quick in the water if you see them moving around their tail is moving a lot and that really helps them in the water now, I know you guys might think that they spend all their time in the water, and they do spend a lot of time in the water, but it actually is only about two thirds uh, of their time is actually spent on land. Crazy, right? They actually do a lot of scent marking. They have a scent gland located at the base of their tail that they use to kind of just rub along on different logs and branches, sediment and things like that, that um, kind of helps them tell other otters, this is my territory and this is where I'm gonna be. Um, back to the fish that they're eating. They eat lots of different kinds of fish here at the zoo. We today did we had trout, but I try to mix it up pretty much every single day. So sometimes they have salmon, sometimes they have herring, we have mackerel, silver sides, sardines. I, the list goes on and on. But these guys eat really, really well. Besides that, in the wild, they also eat things like crustaceans, toads, frogs, sometimes even mice. So we also give our otters some types of meat so that they get those nutrients that they need in the wild. Um, besides that, I'll give you guys like a couple of little facts about them. They can actually dive up to 60 feet. That is really, really far down if you guys don't know. Some more cool things that these guys do are they actually clean themselves every single time that they finish eating and every single time that they get out of the pool, which is really fun. Also, these guys have two layers of fur. So they have a really short, dense 
um, layer that's really close to their skin and that layer actually never gets wet. So even though these guys look very wet, those are their coarse guard hairs that are over the top of their body. So even in places like Canada, because they live all the way up into Canada, which is crazy, they can survive in those really cold climates due to that. Uh, they kind of have like a scuba suit on so that they don't really get wet and they can stay nice, warm, and dry because that is really, really helpful. Well, anyways, thank you so much for coming to join us today and check in the comments for fun activities. But have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye!